Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gava USA. In this video, I'm going to show you this powerful rotor, two cores, 256 uh, megabytes of RAM, and it has a bit many other features that uh, I would like to share with you. So now I'm going to change the camera so you can see it. So here, as you can see, I have the, the website, Microtik. So if you want to know more about this, this model, and in this case, we have the RB750 GR3. The good thing about this uh, router is two cores, like I said before, uh, four threads. And uh, here you have the dimensions, the license, and here you have the, the RAM, so 256 megabytes, storage 16. It doesn't matter, I mean, it's not that much, but the good thing about this is here you have a micro SD, so that way you can have more storage and you can save everything here if you want to. Uh, here, okay, five, five watts, that is the power consumption. Y you can power it up using PoE. Uh, the, I mean, the voltage, as you can see, you can use uh, eight volt to 30 volts, so that's good. It's ether, ethernet and gigabit. So that is fast, that is good, one USB. And as you can see, I'm going to show you the, the USB here. So and here it has a, the button, I, I, it says mode. I never had one of these before, so I don't know what is this mode for. for. I'll try, I'll, I'll be playing with this, I'll, I'll tell you later on. But if you, if you see, I mean, I had this, the other Microtik, as you can see. And this one was kind of slow because it's just one CPU, one thread, th that's it. And when I had some kind of attack or something like that, the, this rotor um, started getting very, very slow. So, I, I mean, the good thing is that you can realize about that and then check that something is, is going on, on on this. And if you have a, a lot of connections or if you have, I mean, this kind of device is just for uh, office or home uh, office, but if, if you want something a little bit more powerful that uh, you can handle more connections, you can have something like that. But remember, if you want to uh, be a IESP or something like that, you're going to have, you are going to buy another device. I mean, this is aimed to a home with a lot of computers or office with a lot of computers as, as well. So if, if you want to provide internet, you're going to need something more, more powerful than this. But at least for starters, this is very good. It's around $50, it's not that expensive. And like I said before, you have the micro SD, you have gigabit and, and you have the USB. So basically, if you're thinking, well, why should I care about the USB? Usually with this kind of modem, uh, you can connect the three a modem, an external USB modem uh, with 3G or 4G, and that way you can have a, like a, a backup connection. In case the main one goes down, you can uh, switch with, to, the, to the other one automatically if you, if you know how to set up the, this kind of modem. In the other one has the, the other thing. Uh, it's, it's, it's big, I mean, it's bigger, but um, like I'm, in my case, I, I don't use the, the Wi-Fi in this. I have another device to, to use the, the Wi-Fi that is more powerful and usually uh, is, is better than having everything in, in a small box. So if you don't care much about the Wi-Fi, that is a good thing. You can, I mean, if you want, uh, add Wi-Fi feature, you can get a, a Unify. Unify is another device uh, by Ubiquiti, so that way you can have many repeaters and everything. And you have just a very powerful box to handle all the connections. The, you can control the bandwidth if you want to control the the internet, the content and, and everything. If you, if you have kids, employees or something like that, you can do that also if you want to do a load balance, failover, and other things. If you want to have two or three uh, internet providers, that, that way if one fails, you will jump to the other one. And you can connect one of these ports to the switch and 
And basically, that, that's it. I mean, if you, if you want, you can have, a, a, I mean, you can do almost everything with this because it's, it's, uh, it's very rich in, in features. You can program it with anything that, that you need. So I hope this video was helpful. So if you want to get one of these, I'll try to leave it in the video description. If you have any question, as usual, leave it in the video description as well. Remember to subscribe and see you next time. Ah, oh, one, one more thing I forgot to mention. Uh, if you are wondering, okay, is this more powerful than the regular Linksys? Yes, it is. Usually the Linksys, the, 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 the processor is about 100 megahertz. So, and they have like maybe 20 megabytes. So if you have 26 megabytes here and two cores, that is more than than enough for most most people because you know th those little lenses that you buy everywhere even if you pay like 300 or 400 because they have all, all the antennas and everything like that usually they are no uh, they are no uh, much powerful than this this you have a lot of power with the other ones mm, they are kind of crappy so thank you for watching until then and see you next time